Because if I look back where we came from, refugee camp, no food, no clothes, and here we are today. You have everything I need. Uh, determination and that attention to detail, that, that's going to take him uh, to, to the very top. Throughout the years, they, uh, they carried the, the family to a safe environment like Canada, a safe country, and I'm really happy that they did that for us. And, and what does it mean to you to be Canadian? Being Canadian like, be is uh, a great honor. Not many people can say they're a Canadian citizen. I meant it was a really big part. Uh, Alfonso used to come train here quite a bit. Uh, he just lives two blocks away. So it was a nice, and, uh, at 10 years old, Alfonso was babysitting his brother and sister. They were infants. He was changing diapers. He was uh, with them alone at home just because his parents were working shift work. And uh, it was just the three of them, uh, the three kids at that time. And uh, I think he, he had to mature really quickly because there was a lot of responsibility you know on his shoulders he was uh, he was making their food for them they didn't have uh, you know the, the means to have a babysitter and so forth and they had no relatives to help them so Alfonso started at a very young age where most 10 years old were probably playing more video games and and with toys at